hey everyone! So, today I'm going to do another Halloween movie recommendation for you guys. Um, I'm pretty excited about this one. I really, really like this movie a lot. A lot, a lot. Um, so let's get started. It is called Let the Right One In. Um, it's based on the book Let the Right One In by John, shit, John, I don't even want to try to say his name because I'm sure I will fuck it up horribly, I'll just type it in the sidebar, um, I read the book after I saw the movie though, and I just, you know, I had to, um, the movie is amazing, and there are quite a bit of differences between the book and the movie, as there always are. Um, the book is just as amazing. I It was a pretty fast read for me. I loved it, loved it, loved it. Um, there are like major differences between the book and the movie, and the book goes into so much more detail about everything, but I'm not going to talk about the book. Um, I'm just going to talk about the movie. Um, it's a really cool movie. It's set in the 80s. It, um, it takes place in Sweden, and it basically centers around Oscar, who is a 12-year-old boy who gets made fun of and bullied horrendously by his classmates. They're so mean to him. They whip him with a stick and make his cheek bleed and they're just the biggest assholes but in the end they got what they deserved which is kind of harsh but they were assholes so they kind of deserved it um so Oscar he lives in an apartment with his mom his parents are divorced and um a new girl moves in next door her name is Ely I guess that's how you're going to say it. Um, I kept wanting to say Eli because I used to work with a girl named Elizabeth who went by Eli for short, but in the movie, um, sh they pronounce it like Ely. So, Ely. Um, and she's kind of weird. She um, doesn't know how old she is. She It's snowing, and she walks out into the play area with no shoes on, no socks, and she just has on a very thin sweater. And Oscar's like, aren't you cold? And she's like, I guess I forgot how to. Okay, that's really weird. You forgot how to be cold. That makes no sense. Um, so yeah, she's pretty weird. And she talks different, you know, she doesn't know what a Rubik's Cube is. That was a big thing in the 80s, and Oscar is playing with it and she has no idea what it is and anyway they end up you know they hang out you know they're all friends and stuff and Oscar really likes her and he wants to go study with her isn't that cute and she's kind of hesitant you know cause she's a vampire and he doesn't know that she's a vampire yet but he finds out but he still likes her you know at first he's kind of freaked out by it but he still likes her and um it just basically centers around the relationship it's not really like the movie isn't you know scary like horror or whatever but um i mean it deals with a vampire and there are some killings in the movie you know there's blood um so that's why i'm throwing it in here it's just it's a really great movie in the movie, the movie may start off kind of slow for you. I know um, it kind of has a slow starting. Um, when I first time I watched it, I was like, "This is kind of boring." Um, <laughs> I thought it was kind of boring, honestly, at the very beginning of it. But then you know, stuff starts to happen, and it gets really, really interesting. Um, it's a really great movie. You know, stick with it if you are like bored or whatever at the beginning of it, don't just be like, this sucks, and turn it off, because you're going to miss out. It's it's amazing. Um, the 
two actors, the actors that played Oscar and the one that played Ely, are so talented. I mean, you know, they're just young, they're young kids, and, you know, it's like, wow, they can really act good. And, so, and I mean, you know, the movie it kind of deals with mature stuff, in a sense. Um, it's, it's kind of weird because Ely isn't a girl. Um, the main thing, Oscar, you know, when he's like, do you want to go study with me? And Ely's like, do you like me? And he's like, yeah, I like you a lot. And, and she's like, would you still like me if I weren't a girl? And he's like, yeah, you know, but I mean, she was a boy. Um, it sounds really weird and messed up. If you watch the movie, you'll see little hints. It kind of hints at it. And then it has this one scene where it shows her naked and she doesn't have anything. Um, and if you read the book, it'll go into more detail about, you know, Ely, who is really a boy, not a girl. So, um, it's pretty interesting. Um, and the book is like, it goes into so much more detail than the movie, of course. I mean, Haken, I guess that's how you say his name, he's Ely's caretaker in the movie and the book. Um, he's the one that goes out and has to um, kill people for her or him <laughs> um, and drain, he drains people's blood so Ely can drink it and um, he ends up pouring acid on himself in the movie and the book. In the movie he ends up dying but in the book he comes back as a vampire. Um, yeah, that wasn't in the movie. And there's also a character in the book named Tommy, who I don't think has a single role in the movie at all. I, I don't think he does. Um, I can't remember. It's been a while since I saw the movie. But, um, he doesn't show up in the movie at all, I don't believe. And he plays a major, major role in the movie. I mean, he deals with Haken, who comes back as a vampire, and in the book, Ely, did I say in the movie? I mean, he plays a major, major role in the book, sorry. And, um, like, he deals with Haken, who comes back as a vampire, and Ely goes to Tommy and wants to suck his blood, <laughs> um, in the book. But that doesn't happen in the movie, so I'm kind of ruining things for you, sorry. Um, spoiler alert, but, yeah. The movie is incredible, um, the two actors again, Oscar and Ely are brilliant. Um, it's not really, you know, like a scary, scary movie. It's, um, but you know, it's, it has its scary moments, you know, she's a vampire, he's a vampire, whatever. Um, Ely's a vampire. So definitely see Let the Right One In. And once you see it, watch the movie. I mean, read the book or read the book first and then see the movie. It's amazing. So thank you for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.